Not only does it seem like an eternity, but it has been an eternity since our last triathlon. I and mean, it was October of last year, so we're looking at almost 12 whole months since we've been able to do the swim bike run where it's really mattered. I'm hoping to do 15 minutes or faster if I can. Uh, just gonna go red line and see what happens and then get on the bike and I know the bike's got some terrain on it so there'll be some climbing and really having to push and dig deep. At the beginning of the season, we started a campaign called Hashtag Team Saunders Gives, and our goal was to select one cause that's important to us over the course of the season, one cause for each race, and raise money for that cause. One cause that's important to us is the Trevor Project. It helps struggling LGBTQ youth. They provide support to struggling LGBTQ youth, and I want them to be able to continue that work. Many of whom consider committing suicide, and that's the reasoning behind Caitlin's race number, number 40. Being 40% 40 of LGBTQ youth do contemplate suicide, and they just need resources, a support line, somebody to listen to them and know that they care and that there's nothing wrong with you for being who you are. So I hit the lane rope, I guess, somewhere during the swim. 100, 200 yards in, I don't know. So I don't know my swim time, which is kind of a bummer. So I gotta play, you know, deal with that mental challenge. And just know that that's one thing I couldn't really control. I can't control what's done. So no matter what my swim time was, it's what it was, regardless of whether my watch recorded it or not, I can go back and look at the video and figure it. So dealing with some rollers and wet pavement here on the bike course. So I gotta take it a little careful. Tire, I mean, uh, second time was not a charm. The tire blew through the tire wall, so her her bike day is over. <laughs> I'm great. It's all good. Yeah, I'll be right, man. I'll give it to the cyclists out here. I've uh, probably been past about about eight or so of them. Every single one of them has asked if like, they could do anything for me. So hats off to all the cyclists in Austin. We're we're a pretty cool group. My savior right here. It was coming through the tire wall. So. We had some rain the last couple of days in Austin and we might have some rain on race morning or race day. So it's gonna make it a little swampy, a little warm. Nice that there's some shade on the run course, but uh, those elements are gonna be tough, especially coming at the end of 
pushing so hard on the swim and bike. Tomorrow's race day, gonna race hard, gonna enjoy it, gonna embrace the suck as they like to say. We tried. Uh, it's 2020, right? 2020. Glad I was close to her to help her. Your lead hour swim, <laughs> two flats. And now we're just gonna go out and do what we can on a 5K run. Shattered phone, shattered video camera. It's 2020, right? <laughs> If I could do nine minute mile, that's not my ultimate fastest pace, but knowing the conditions, I'd be happy with a nine minute mile. So I have chosen to wear race number 86. 86% 86 of LGBTQ youth say recent politics have impacted their well being. Nobody should feel uncomfortable, nobody should feel unwanted, nobody should feel less than a human being just because of who they are. So I've always said that Caitlin and I are not competitive with one another and that's absolutely the case. Who's gonna win tomorrow? <laughs> I'm gonna win tomorrow. And Tiffany's gonna win too. And it's nice knowing that no matter what happens tomorrow that she and I will both be on the podium. I don't think she's had a faster time in a sprint try than I have. It's been close. I think Jack's generic try last year, she was like 11 seconds behind me. Um, but she has more podium finishes in sprint tries than I do. Either way, we're going out to have fun and, you know, maybe we'll, the loser will buy the winner a margarita or something, but, uh, you know, it's just a good time for a good cause and getting out and hopefully inspiring some folks to just be active in whatever way you find and enjoy life, enjoy what you're doing and just get out there and appreciate what you can do. No joke, especially when there's a hill at the end. I don't have any good words for that hill. Didn't go as planned, but it wasn't all for not either. No, sure not, no. I feel like we both felt good in the water and the bike, well, it's what it is. And, uh, I feel like we each had a good solid run. Yeah, I, I don't think I could have done anything different on the run. I think I paced it well and negative split each mile. Uh, the last little last little mile might not quite be a negative, but uh, going into the hill, I was where I wanted to be. Thanks for watching. And if you would give us a like and subscribe, that would mean a lot. Also, again, we were racing for the Trevor Project. If you have it in you, donate a little bit. We'll put the link in the description down below. 